One of the easiest ways to make extra money and grow your savings is by getting a high yield savings account. I've made thousands in interest by simply putting my money in these savings accounts and there's no reason you shouldn't be benefiting from this too. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you what I think are the best high yield savings accounts you can get. Some I have, others I don't, but no matter which ones you choose, you're guaranteed to earn more on your money. For those who don't know, a high yield savings account is like a regular savings account, but it pays you a higher interest rate for keeping your money in it. They're able to offer higher rates because they have less expenses than banks with physical branches. So while big banks like Chase and Bank of America pay laughable interest rates around 0.01%, which is nothing, many high yield savings accounts pay well over 4%, which means if you put $20,000 in a regular savings account earning 0.01%, you'd only make about $2 in interest per year. But if you put that same amount into a high yield savings account earning 4%, you can make about $800 in interest per year. That's a huge difference and it can really boost your savings in the long run. That's why where you keep your money matters. Just remember that interest rates can change at any time. So the rates we talk about today may be different by the time you watch this video. Okay, the first high yield savings account I want to go over is one that's fairly new and that's the Genius Bank High Yield Savings Account. It caught my attention simply because they're offering 5.25% APY, have no fees or minimum balance requirements, they're FDIC insured up to $250,000, which means your money is safe up to that amount in case the bank fails. Plus they offer 24 seven US based customer service, which is extremely valuable when banking online. Although they're the new kid on the block, they're backed by a real bank, which has been around for over 400 years. I was also able to find some positive reviews from people who have this account, so I thought it was worth the mention considering its super high interest rate. Now, the main downsides of this account are that it doesn't have a mobile banking app yet, so you can only manage your account on their website. And because they are new, there aren't enough reviews to judge how good they are. But I'm sure as more people try them out, it could become a popular option. So if you want one of the highest interest rates around without any fees or minimums, and you're okay with waiting for their mobile app, this account could be a great option. But if you want more benefits beyond no fees and a high interest rate, the next bank on the list might be a better fit, and that's the Wealthfront Cash Account. It's called a cash account because Wealthfront isn't a bank. Instead, they work with multiple banks to offer this account. What I like about it is that it combines checking and savings account features and offers very high interest rates. Right now they're paying 5% APY with no account fees or minimum balance requirements, offer up to $8 million in FDIC insurance through their partner banks, and you can make unlimited transfers and same day withdrawals for free. This feature is pretty cool because you can do same day withdrawals and receive your money in just a few hours as long as the account you're moving your money to is held at one of 400 plus participating institutions. With this account, you'll also get a debit card for spending and accessing your money at over 19,000 fee-free ATMs at popular places like CVS and Target or anywhere else for a small fee. Although it's best to keep your money in your high yield savings account to earn more interest, having this option can be handy if you need to access your money quickly. You can also get paid up to two days early if you set up direct deposit, pay bills with your routing and account numbers, send and deposit checks, use payment apps like Apple Pay, make wire transfers for just $10, or transfer and invest your money in minutes. Another cool feature is that you can set up categories for different savings goals within your cash account and earn interest on that money. Plus, if you refer a friend to Wealthfront, you'll both get a 0.50% APY boost for three months. So instead of earning 5%, you'll earn 5.5% APY, which is amazing. Now, the only potential downsides to this account are that they don't offer 24 seven customer service. They only operate Monday through Friday, and you may also need to pay a fee to deposit cash. Other than that, this account is great, offering a ton of benefits and some of the highest interest rates available. I personally used it for over a year and had a great experience, so I recommend it. However, I decided to move my money into the two bank accounts we'll be talking about next. Next up, we have the Capital One 360 Performance Savings Account. It's currently paying 4.25% APY with no monthly maintenance fees or minimum balance requirements, and it's FDIC insured up to $250,000. You can also create multiple savings accounts for specific savings goals like a down payment on a house or a vacation. But what makes Capital One stand out from the rest of the banks on this list is that despite being an online bank, they actually have some branch locations and Capital One cafes where they offer in-person banking services along with coffee, snacks, and even free Wi-Fi. I've been into their cafes before and the vibe is great. 
So if you want the high interest rates of a high yield savings account, but you aren't ready to part ways with brick and mortar banks, Capital One is a no brainer. Especially if you pair the 360 savings account with the Capital One 360 checking account, which also doesn't have fees or minimums, provides a debit card, access to over 70,000 fee-free ATMs, the ability to deposit cash in stores, two-day early paycheck when you set up direct deposit, and you'll even be able to send and receive money with Zelle, which I really like. Now, if I could think of any downsides, it would be that Capital One doesn't offer a sign-up bonus. And you also can withdraw cash from an ATM because they do not provide an ATM card with their savings account. To take out cash, you'll have to transfer your money to another account. That's why I paired mine with their checking account. In its defense though, savings accounts don't usually come with ATM cards since they're meant for saving and earning interest. But I mention this in case you're considering getting the account and withdrawing cash in the future. Apart from that, I highly recommend their savings account. I've been using it for over two years now and have earned thousands in interest without any issues so far. Even though Capital One's interest rates aren't the highest, they're still much higher than what you'd get with regular savings accounts. Plus having the option of in-person banking is the cherry on top. Next up, we have one of my top picks right now that I've been using for a while, and that's SoFi's checking and savings account. I moved part of my money here to benefit from its sign-up bonus and high interest rate combo. When you sign up for this account, you'll get both a checking and savings account for better benefits. There are no account fees or minimum balance requirements, and they're currently paying 4.6% APY on savings balances and 0.50% APY on checking balances. Your money in this account is also FDIC insured up to $2 million through partner banks, plus you'll get a debit card that earns up to 15% cash back at local stores, gives you access to over 55,000 fee-free ATMs nationwide for easy money withdrawals, and you can deposit cash at over 90,000 retailers such as Walgreens and CVS for a fee charged by the store. SoFi is also a real bank as of February 2022, and they provide free checks plus an all-in-one mobile banking app for managing your finances, including tracking your spending and even monitoring your credit score. You can even send and receive money from others if they have a SoFi account, or you can link your SoFi debit card to Zelle and send money that way too. They also have something called vaults where you can create sub accounts for different savings goals. And the best part is that the money in there will also earn interest. But what really makes SoFi stand out from the other banks is that for a limited time, they're offering up to a $300 cash bonus plus an extra $25 if you sign up using my link in the description, totaling $325. However, to qualify, you're going to need to set up direct deposit, which is super easy to do. You just give your employer your SoFi account number and routing number, and that's about it. Once you've set up direct deposit, you can earn a $50 bonus if you receive a direct deposit between $1,000 to $4,999 with 99 cents or a $300 bonus if you receive $5,000 or more within 25 days of opening your account. With direct deposit, you'll also unlock extra benefits like getting your paycheck two days early, overdraft protection, their highest interest rate of 4.6% APY, 2.2% cash back on the SoFi credit card, and much more, making it well worth it. The best part is that there's no direct deposit minimum to earn the highest APY. Any amount counts. So even if you only get $1 as a monthly direct deposit, you still qualify for their higher rate. In the case that you can't set up direct deposit, but still want the highest APY, another way to unlock it is by depositing $5,000 or more every 30 days into your account. But even if you don't meet any of those requirements, you'll still earn a decent interest rate of 1.2% on savings and 0.5% APY on checking balances, which honestly isn't as high as what you get from regular high yield savings accounts, but it's a lot better than what a regular bank account offers. Honestly, after banking with SoFi for over three years, I can confidently say it's one of the best bank accounts available, especially if you can set up direct deposit because you'll unlock a huge cash bonus, high interest rates, and perks other banks simply don't offer. But if you can't or don't want to set up direct deposit or care about the bonus and all those extra benefits, the next bank on the list offers a simpler high yield savings account option, and that's Discover's high yield savings account. I've been banking with Discover for over two years and have no complaints so far. This account is super simple. It earns 4.25% APY, doesn't have account fees or minimum balance requirements, and it's FDIC insured up to $250,000. Discover is also currently offering a signup bonus of $150 when you deposit at least $15,000 or $200 when you deposit at least $25,000 within 45 days of opening your account, which is a nice bonus if you have that type of cash. 
They also provide 24 seven US based customer service and a super easy to use mobile banking app, which is important for an online savings account where customers heavily depend on technology for their banking needs. Like I mentioned earlier, this account is super simple and doesn't offer as many perks as the others. But if you combine it with the Discover checking account, which also has no account fees, you can enjoy some extra perks. For instance, you can earn 1% cash back on up to $3,000 in debit card purchases every month. Even though this might not seem like much compared to credit cards, that 1% could translate to $30 in cash back per month, which is a nice bonus for those who prefer using debit cards. You could also send money with Zelle, get paid early if you set up direct deposit, and you'll have access to over 60,000 free to use ATMs for easy cash withdrawals. Anyway, the only downsides to the Discover High Yield Savings account are that it doesn't provide extra savings tools. There's no ATM access or card for easy withdrawals, which may be inconvenient for some people unless they get the Discover checking account too. And lastly, their welcome bonus requires a significant deposit, which some people may not have, making it a hard bonus to earn. Overall though, as I mentioned earlier, I've been using Discover for over two years, specifically for my rental properties, and I really like them. I think their high yield savings account is an amazing choice, especially for those looking for a simple high yield savings account from a well-known bank. Next up, we have Ally Bank Savings Account, which is one of the OGs. This account has no monthly maintenance fees or minimum balance requirements. It's FDIC insured up to $250,000 and is currently paying 4.2% APY. The account also comes with a popular savings feature called savings buckets, which lets you split your money into different categories, each dedicated to different savings goals, like an emergency fund, paying off debt, a down payment for a house, a vacation, or anything else you want, really. The best part is that the money you move to these buckets will also earn interest, in this case, 4.20% APY. They also offer three boosters to help automate your savings. There's recurring transfers where you can schedule automatic transfers to your savings account. There's also surprise savings where Ally checks your spending or linked checking accounts for safe to save money and moves it into your savings account. And there's roundups, which rounds up your transactions from your Ally checking account to the nearest dollar and then transfers the extra change to your savings account. Ally also offers 24 seven live customer service over the phone, email, or through online chat on the Ally mobile app. So if you don't like to talk on the phone, you can type your problems away. Anyway, just like some of the other banks we've gone over, it's a good idea to pair the Ally savings account with their checking account for better perks. Now, the only downsides to the Ally savings account are that they don't offer a sign up bonus, so you're missing out on free money there. There's no ATM access or ATM cards, so you'll probably need to get the Ally checking account too. And their interest rates are good, but fall short compared to the next bank on the list. Next, we have Marcus by Goldman Sachs High Yield Savings Account. This account has no fees or minimums, is FDIC insured up to 250K, offers same day transfers of $100,000 or less, and it's currently paying 4.4% APY or 5.4% APY for three months if you use someone's referral link to sign up. Now, I personally prefer a cash sign up bonus, but an extra 1% for three months is pretty nice too. And even nicer if you can get it back to back. Depending on how much money you have in your account, this might even make more sense than a one-time cash bonus. On top of that, they have an easy to use mobile banking app, offer 24 seven customer service, free wire transfers, and much more. Anyway, the main drawbacks to this account are that it doesn't offer a cash sign up bonus, ATM access, or an ATM card. You also can do mobile check deposits, and it doesn't offer extra savings tools like other banks such as SoFi and Ally, for instance. So the savings account is as simple as it gets, but perfect for someone who just wants to put their money somewhere without worrying about fees or minimums while still earning a great interest rate. Last but not forgotten, we have another simple account and that's the American Express High Yield Savings Account. It's currently paying 4.25% APY, doesn't have minimum balance requirements or monthly fees, offers 24 seven customer service, and is FDIC insured up to 250K. Pairing it with the Amex checking account could be a good idea and unlock extra benefits. The account doesn't have monthly fees or minimums as well, comes with a debit card that earns Amex membership reward points and earns 1% APY, which is much higher than what checking accounts usually offer. You can also add your Amex debit card to digital wallets such as Apple Pay and use it to withdraw money at over 70,000 fee-free ATMs, which is nice. However, keep in mind that you need to be an Amex card holder for at least three months to be eligible for this checking account. Anyway, going back to the savings account, the downsides are that there's no sign up bonus, 
no ATM card or ATM access. And although there are monthly fees or minimums, there are some rules you must follow or Amex may freeze or close your account. One of them is that you can't have a zero balance for more than six months. So keep that in mind. Besides that, the Amex High Yield Savings Account is a great option for anyone looking for a simple high yield savings account that earns a competitive interest rate. So there you have it, peeps, the best high yield savings accounts currently available, in my opinion. Let me know in the comments which ones you have or think are the best. And for those who don't have one yet, I hope this video made your decision and switch easier. By the way, I've left links in the description to some limited time bonuses to some of the banks we talked about today, as well as some of my favorite credit cards and shopping portals that I think could benefit you guys as well. So feel free to check those out if you like. Using those links, as always, is one of the best ways to support the channel. So if you want to help each other out, you know what to do. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to watch these other ones next. See you on the next one.